How to make money on Pinterest. What's happening everyone? This is Greg Kononenko, the caffeinated blogger, and today's video is dedicated to making money on Pinterest. If you like making money on Pinterest, if you like traffic generation and so forth, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out regular training videos on those topics, and when you do subscribe, make sure that you don't forget to hit the little notification icon to get real-time notifications as soon as I upload the new videos. Also, if you like traffic generation, then give me a like on this video. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes. And lastly, you can grab my full course about Pinterest traffic. If you head over to caffeinatedblogger.com slash Pinterest, you can download it and access it there. And of course, if there are any other topics that you'd like me to cover in my future videos, then you can put them into the comments below. All right, let's get into the detail. Hey guys, welcome again to this video. So Pinterest is an absolute gold mine for traffic. If you want to make money in pretty much any niche and with any business model, you can use Pinterest and it's an amazing traffic source. So uh, first, just wanted to share a little teaser. I've actually, I'm using Pinterest on several of my sites and these are stats for just one of my websites. That's Hustle that you can see here. I've generated over 228,000 page views since the start of this website and primarily I'm generating traffic to this website from Pinterest. I've also got a number of other websites. Another one is travelcroc.com and some of the other sites that I don't publicly disclose because they are in issues that I want to keep private. So but as you can see here, Pinterest is absolutely powerful. The traffic converts and it's very, very easy to get massive traffic like this from Pinterest. Now, what obviously now you know that you can actually generate this massive traffic, but how do you actually monetize it? So that's what I want to focus a little bit in this video first. All right, so you only really need two things if you wanna make money on Pinterest. You need a monetization method, something that works well, and you need to get this targeted traffic. Like you saw, Pinterest can give you that traffic. There is no problem there. You just need to choose your monetization method first, all right? And the first monetization method that I want to talk about is AdSense. It's by far the easiest method. It's excellent for newbies. It works in any niche, literally any kind of a page or any kind of a website that you have, you can monetize with AdSense and it's completely passive. Just in case you're not sure what AdSense actually means, there is, let me show you. So this is another site of mine, travelcroc.com and AdSense is these ads. I'm sure that you've seen them around. They're basically Google ad um, network and if you register with AdSense, then you can get a bit of code and insert it into your website and you will be getting ads that are similar to this. Anyone who comes to your website and clicks on these ads, you're gonna make money from every single click. That's all that needs to happen. You don't need to sell anything. You don't need to do any SEO, nothing like that, nothing complicated. You simply put up your website, put these Google ads into your website and send the traffic and boom, you're making money. That's as simple as it is. So that's the way that I'm monetizing my travel crop website, all right? And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to actually get the traffic as well. That's coming a bit later in the video. So AdSense is completely passive, excellent model. The second model is affiliate marketing. It is also very, very easy. It works in some niches. That's the downside of it. You can't really promote affiliate marketing products in every single niche. There are some niches where it just does not work. Uh, it is also a passive method, but the rewards of it could be really big because in some niches, for example, with digital products, and with high-end products, the commissions can be very big. If someone buys a $100 product through your link and you make a 50% commission, there you go, you've just instantly made 50 bucks. So for example, on this That's Hustle website, here is what one of my affiliate pages looks like. I've got a review of a product and there is a link for them to buy. As soon as my visitors buy, I make a 50% commission on this product that I recommend. Very simple, I don't need my own product, I don't need to do any customer support, customer service. I just make a commission and away I go. The third monetization method is e-commerce. It's, or you might have heard about online shops, e-com, they are all the same terms. You can have an e-commerce shop on the Shopify platform or on WooCommerce on your own site in WordPress. It can be very, very profitable. It's also a real business. Sometimes I struggle explaining to my friends what I do by affiliate marketing and list building. You know, it just all sounds a bit complicated and weird. Apologies, sorry about this. The third monetization method is e-commerce. You might have also heard of it by the names of e-com or online shops. It's all the same thing. Essentially, it's a place where people can come and buy your goods. Usually they are digital goods. It can be very profitable. It's an excellent business model. It also is a real business in the sense that you can explain to your 
family and to your friends what it is exactly that you do. Having an online shop is much easier to understand than what a person does when they do affiliate marketing or list building. You know, it's you can tell someone I've got an online shop and I sell shoes for dogs, something like that. It just makes a lot more sense. Cool. So it does require some work to set up and maintain, but it can be very, very profitable. And an example of yeah, ecom and how we're making money with Pinterest traffic using e-commerce uh, store is here. I'm just going to show that to you in a second. So this is a website doggydesires.com. It belongs to my business partner Stefan, and you can see at the bottom he's selling. Uh, various dog related things okay so someone can come from Pinterest to this page here doggy lovers poor necklace and if they purchase it uh, Stefan will get 1995 and then uh, they can fulfill this order so they can go to the supplier and they can fulfill it for perhaps three dollars or four dollars five dollars including the delivery they are low-cost goods and even to have that made and delivered over to the customer directly does not cost very much money at all and Pinterest traffic is excellent for this it's free and a lot of the people who come to this website from Pinterest they end up buying their uh, the goods that they see here all right so hopefully you're clear on what e-commerce is as well that's the third really powerful method of how you can make money with Pinterest so as you can see there's different ways to monetize it but of course it all comes down to getting that traffic so let's just spend a little bit of time to talk about how you can get the traffic so first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to open an account and I recommend having a business account because you get very powerful analytics if you open a business account. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to head on over to business.pinterest.com like this and you can sign up here at the very top so just hit the sign up button and you will be asked for your details, so email, password, business name, and website. I recommend putting in the website straight away if you already have the website. And then basically just create an account and go and fill it out with all of the relevant details. For reference, you can use my profile on Pinterest, the Travel Croc profile, for example, pinterest.com slash Travel Croc. You can see how I've done it. I've put a nice picture of myself, a little bit of a description. So don't leave those things blank. You wanted to look nice and personable you want to make a good impression on anyone who comes to check out your profile okay so just go ahead and set that up the next thing that you will need to do is you will need to set up 15 boards the reason why we do this is of course when you first open up the Pinterest profile it will look very empty and if it looks empty nobody is going to follow you so what you want to do is you want to make it look similar to this populated nice profile photo your location your website your description and then actually have some pins and some boards because if you don't have anything nobody is going to follow you nobody is going to click on your links all right so what you need to do what i recommend for you to do is to set up 15 boards and then after you create the boards you will need to pin other people's content to your boards just to fill out your profile so this is very simple and easy to do all you would need to do is to go into boards and then create a board and you call it you give it a name now the name will depend on which niche you're in so for example if you're in a dog niche you might want to go with something like awesome rottweiler photos i don't know if that's the correct way to spell rottweiler or not but you get the idea right i know how to spell great dane so it'll be something like awesome great dane photos then you might put in dog training you might put in dog food recipes so the different subtopics within your niche okay so as you can see here, Travel Croc is a travel related website and I've got Europe destinations, Kayama South Coast, USA travel, Asia and Southeast Asia travel and so forth. So you're getting the idea, right? You're just creating the different subtopics within your niche. So that's the next step. Now, after you've created the board, you need to fill it out with some pins. And those pins, if you notice, when I go to Europe travel destinations, none of these pins are actually mine they are just here for me to fill out the profile okay so it's simple to do all you will need to do is just go europe travel or type in some keyword related to that particular board that you want to fill out first so let's say we're filling out the europe travel board first so you just go in here and you hit save and that will bring up a dialogue and you choose that board that you want to pin it to so i want to save this one to europe travel destination so i just hit save and boom that's it it's done okay so just go ahead and pin about 15 pins to each of these 15 boards 
It doesn't take very long. It literally takes a few seconds per pin. So it's super quick and easy to do. That will give you some initial boost to your profile so that whenever someone comes to check your profile, fair enough, you might not have followers initially, but at least you will have a nice looking profile. All right. Step three. So what you'll need to do after that is you'll need to start growing followers. So obviously now you have content and people will be much more likely to follow you. So uh, you will want to get some targeted followers and you will want to follow between 100 to 300 people a day because a lot of these people, something like 5, 10, 15 percent of these people will follow you back. So how do we do this? OK, let's say we are in the travel niche. OK, I will type in holiday travel or holiday destinations. OK, that's pretty good. Holiday destinations. And I will find here in the top right, you will need to select people. So you will want to follow people or you will want to find people or other Pinterest profiles in the holiday niche. Let's see. So we want someone with a good, decent number of followers. So I think holiday destination is probably not a good keyword. So I'll just go change it to travel. Okay, so we're still on people. Yeah, perfect. That's better. Here we go. Calpac travel. Uh, travel channel 17 so there you go see there is travel channel with 171,000 followers if I open them up I can go to their followers tab here followers I can see all of their followers and I can follow their followers now why is this important and why should we do this well all of these followers so for example Rebecca Ronda is following travel channel it means that she's interested in travel and she is likely to follow other Pinterest profiles in the travel niche. So if I follow Rebecca, there is a very good chance that she's going to follow me back because she's already following the travel channel. She'll get notification that Travel Croc has just followed her. She'll come, she'll check out my profile. She'll think, well, this profile looks pretty good. And that is why we're filling out that profile with some pins. And she will just hit follow back. Why not? You know, that's what people do on social media. They follow each other. So this actually works extremely well. Even now in 2018, uh, some people are saying, well, it's a old tactic, but this is exactly how myself and a lot of the people who um, I've spoken to about my methods, they've been able to do this in the recent months. So it still works extremely, extremely well. So just go ahead and follow 100 to 300 people a day and you will be able to grow your followers. So after you've got approximately 100 or so followers, which should only take you a few days, it's very quick, you will need to start creating your own pins and linking them to your own content. Okay, so you will notice that on my profile here, if I just go back to my profile, show you how I've done it here. I've got a board called Best of Travel Croc. And in here, these are all pins that are linking to my own content. So for example, if, I, if someone checks this pin or sees this pin in their Pinterest feed, when they click on it, they will be taken to my website. That's how we want to get the traffic. And don't forget that each pin can be linked to anything you want. It can be linked to your site where you promote affiliate products. It can even be linked directly to an affiliate link. It can be linked to your site where you've got some AdSense ads or to your e-commerce store. Okay, um, it's, it can be linked to anything that you possibly want. But in this example, this pin is linking to my blog, to my travelcroc.blog. So if any of my followers see this pin in their feed and they click through on it, they'll land on my site and from there they can click my ad. That's how I make the AdSense income with this site. Okay. So I'm hoping you're starting to see the potential here. If you've got followers, whenever you post a pin onto your profile, your followers will see it. So we want to be able to get that traffic and want to be able to send it to our website or somewhere where we're actually monetizing all of this traffic. Okay. So um, you will need to create some content and you will need to also then create these images and then upload those images and link them to your content. So let's just talk about each of these steps. So firstly, to create your content. So to create articles similar to this, I didn't write these articles myself. I get people on iWriter to do this. So to create content, you just go to iWriter.com, register on iWriter as a customer, and then submit your job on iWriter. You might get a fairly 
average quality of articles initially, but just keep rejecting the articles until you get something that you're happy with. Okay? So iWriter is very good quality custom written content. Go for the lowest, for the cheapest tier and just keep rejecting the articles until you get something that you're happy with. So it might take two or three rejections, but you will get, in the end, you will get some excellent content. Okay, then after that, after you've got the content, upload it to your website and that's when you will need to start creating your pin images. So to create the pin images, you just go to canva.com and inside Canva you can hit create a design and there is already a preset Pinterest graphic. It even has templates and Canva is 100% free guys so you don't need to pay anything for it. Just register and away you go. Now Canva has already got some designs that you can use. Some of them are premium. If it's got a dollar against it, it means it's a premium design. If it's a free design then it means it's free and you can just use it. So go and find something that you're happy with. So something like this for example is free. Okay, just change it to summer holiday destinations or whatever. That's one way for you to create your pins. Another way for you to create pins is to create your own custom pin from scratch. You can do that pretty easily as well. Just delete everything in here, okay, and make your own pin image. Just get inspiration from some of these images that you find online and recreate your own version of it here. You do need to know a little bit of how to operate Canva, but there are tutorials. Uh, another way to do this would be to just go to 5R.com and order a 5R gig which is usually about 5 bucks to have 5 or 10 images done for you. So if you type in Pinterest images then you'll be able to see a lot of gigs where people do this. I will make you 4 Pinterest images for, for 5, that's Australian dollars, so for 5 US they'll do 4 Pinterest images. Okay, so you can see this guy makes some really nice pretty cool looking Pinterest images. So you have lots of options. You can definitely do this. You can create content very cheaply at iWriter and then you can have your images done very cheaply on Fiverr. Super simple to do guys. All right, now I've got so many tabs open. Which one were we looking at? We were talking about how to create your own pins and link to your own content. Yes, that's right. Okay, so now you know how to create the pin image. Now you know how to create your own content. Now let's talk about how you're gonna upload that content to your profile. So here is what you need to do. You will need to go to your profile and you will need to create a new board. You will notice that I've got a board called Best of Travel Croc and this board is the first board that people see when they land on my site. You can reorder the order of your boards by just simply dragging and dropping like this. So you can take any board and reorder it. So go ahead and create best of your website. So for example, best of my dog paradise or whatever the name of your website is. And make sure that it's the first one that people see. Okay, why? Because a lot of times when they come to your profile, they will come and they'll check out this board, the very first board that you've got. So after that, what we'll need to do is click this little plus button. When you do that, that's where you can Put a link to anywhere you want. This can be a link to your e-com store, to your affiliate website, to your AdSense site, whatever it is that you want. Okay, so I'm going to use this one as an example. What to do in Vegas besides gamble. Then it says drag and drop or click to upload the video. So just click on this and upload that image that you've created via Fiverr or via Canva. And lastly, make sure that you write a very nice, awesome keyword rich description. This is super important, guys. This is a uh, thousand dollar tip right there because a lot of people do not put anything or they just put a few words. Pinterest is actually a search engine. So this is very important to understand that Pinterest is a search engine. People will come into Pinterest and they'll start looking for things. For example, wedding dress. Wedding dresses vintage. All right. And if you've got a pin and you created a really nice description where you mentioned once or twice Pinterest dresses vintage or vintage Pinterest dresses, people can discover your content through this Pinterest search button. It's very, very important to understand that you need to write keyword reach descriptions because you can get a lot of traffic from Pinterest search. Okay? So just do those things and after that you'll be able to hit done and that will create a pin for you. So just create maybe five or ten pieces of content and add them to your best of board. That will be the next step. 
Okay, now you will need to start getting the traffic. So how do you actually get the traffic? There are a few different ways that you're going to get traffic. So firstly, people will check out your Pinterest profile and they will click your pins. Like I said, when you're doing your daily follows and unfollows, because you are following very targeted people, you're following other people who are interested in travel or other people who are interested in dogs, people will come and they will check out your profile, they'll look at your board and they will start clicking your pins. You'll start getting traffic almost instantly as soon as you start following people. Next, uh, as your following number grows, whenever you save a new pin, so for example, uh, once you upload this pin to your Pinterest profile, your followers will get notified about it. Okay, your followers will actually see them in their feed. So um, they will get notifications every time they open Pinterest, they'll see the latest pins from everyone who they're following. So you're going to get publicity for your pins by just uploading them. Then you can, every once in a while, what you should do is you should open up your pins and you should save them again. Okay, so maybe once a week or once every two weeks, just go ahead and resave all of your pins to your own boards, to other boards on your profile. Why you want to do that? Uh, is because this way you will get exposure for your pins once again to your followers. So every time you pin, your followers will see it in their feed. Okay, so you don't have to just upload the pin once and that's it, it's done. You can recycle the pins and you can continue repeating to your own profile to get more and more traffic. Uh, lastly, Pinterest is a search engine, right? So don't forget that you will get ongoing traffic from Pinterest because people will just type in things into Pinterest as they're searching for it and they will find your pins. Not only that, but also they will find related pins. Okay, every time someone looks at what to do in Vegas besides gamble, there are related pins that will come up. And that's how you can get more traffic from other people's pins because your pin will come up just like this for other people's pins. Okay, so very, very powerful as well. Uh, so you will need to create more content. Like I said, you want at least 10 to 15 pins to start with. And after that, you can progressively, as your site grows and your income grows, you can create more and more content. Now, lastly, guys, power tip, very, very, very important and extremely powerful. Once you hit your first 100 to 200 followers, you can start doing this. This is responsible for a lot of my recent success online in the past 12 months with Pinterest and with my niche websites. You need to apply to group boards. So what is it like to apply to group boards? Basically, it's like going from zero to 50,000 or even 500 followers instantly. It's very, very cool and very powerful. How does this work? Let me show you. So you'll be able to see that I am part of some group boards. I'm just going to go to boards and these are all my own boards. However, you'll notice that I've got some boards which have this little circle with three Mm, how would you say kind of three pictures three profile pictures there right you, you see which ones I'm talking about these are group boards so if I open a few of them just some random ones here you will see that each one of them has already got a ton of followers so this group board has got 9308 followers this one has 20,000 followers and so on so each group board will have tons of followers and these are collaborative boards you need to get invited to them. I'm invited to them. You can see I can just save a pin to this board. I've got a plus sign here. So the way that this board works is they've got 20,000 followers and they've got 175 contributors. So all of these contributors have got the right to post their content to this group board. And you can instantly reach all of these 20,000 followers in this group board if you just upload your pin, all right? So you go ahead. Uh, upload your, your pin link to any content you want, right? It can be your site, it can be your affiliate link, it can be a site where you've got some AdSense ads uploaded and so on. Just upload your pin image and uh, link to your website, put in a good description and hit save and that will upload your pin and put your link into this group board and instantly your pin will go out to all of these 20,000 followers. I hope you can see how powerful this is because you can be in 10 group boards. If you're in 10 group boards where there are 20,000 followers in each of the group boards, that's like having reach of 200,000 people, 200,000 followers virtually instantly. Okay, so very, very important. How do you join group boards? Okay, um, there are generally, so first of all, you need to find these group boards. The way that you do them is you go to pingroupie.com. So this is how it's spelled, pingroupie.com. 
Okay, and that will that's a directory of group boards. You'll see they've got 65,000 group boards that are listed in their database. So just type in your title or description, something like travel or dogs or lose weight, and you can open up all of these group boards. And generally on these group boards, there's going to be a description for how you can join. Here you go. 33,000 followers, happy to add anyone who asks. Please notice there are no ads, no pins from non-Caribbean countries. Very So there are a few, obviously a few rules around it, but basically you need to have a look at how you should get added. So let's see. Um, so the easiest way is to, what you can do is just open up this owner. Okay, so the first profile that comes up is the owner of the group board. So you can just open them up and send them an interest, uh, a Pinterest message. I'm just trying to see some because sometimes they actually have got instructions here on how you can do this. There you go. If you would like to join this group board, leave me a comment on my latest pin or please send a message to me. Okay, so what you would do is you would open up this profile. After you've opened up the profile, you will send message and then just send a message. Okay, you will type something out to say, hey, my name is such and such. Give your Pinterest profile, your Pinterest email and say that you'd like to join this group board, that your content is very similar to the content that is already in this group board. You know, just write up something nice, present yourself in a professional and nice way and send that message and you will get invites to these group boards. It's a very, very, very powerful tactic. It's basically like having those 50,000 followers virtually instantly, almost just like that. So guys, I hope you're starting to see the potential. Pinterest is excellent for traffic. Uh, you can generate a lot of traffic. It's targeted traffic. And I've also talked to you about a few different ways uh, that you can monetize this traffic in various niches. That's it. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to grab my free Pinterest traffic course on caffeinatedblogger.com slash Pinterest. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel to never miss my future training videos. I put out regular content about Pinterest, traffic generation, social media, various other ways to make money online. So hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little notification icon to actually get notifications every time I put out a new video. Uh, lastly, consider giving me a like on this video. I want to see if we can get to 100 likes. All right, so thank you very, very much, guys, and I will see you in my future videos.